My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. Regex is my best friend in my job as an automation developer. And if you're only going to watch one of my videos this year, this should be it. Regex. This is a series of characters, a search pattern, which we can use to extract data out of, for example, Excel sheets, emails, or even PDFs. In this video, I will show you how to use Regex in Power Automate. I will show you a free solution and a paid solution. Each one has pros and cons. Not only that, Office scripts, that is VBA and steroids. We will introduce that here in this video. We will take advantage of Office scripts. We will use it for Regex extraction and we can do so by creating the Office script in Excel online and then we can call it from Power Automate. And in case you don't know programming, don't worry. I don't either, but we can use some very simple tips and tricks. You can use my pre-made scripts, simply just invoke them and use them in Power Automate. If this is your first time here on the channel, please remember to subscribe and upgrade your career with my future videos. It will be a great investment in your career. Now I will turn back to my computer and show you everything about regex in Power Automate. A regex pattern could look like this. And this patent is designed to extract this email here and this email here. It looks very complicated and in case you haven't seen regex, click the video up here in the right corner that will teach you all about regex. But generally speaking, this pattern here will extract these two emails. To use regex and to test it, we can copy this text here and go to a regex editor. This is just regex 101 and I can copy it in here. This is my text. And then we can paste in our pattern up here. So let me go back to my notepad here. Copy the pattern and go to the tester and paste it in here. Now we can see that this pattern will extract this match and this match. We can also see it over here. This is very smart if it's structured data. Say that we always want to extract an email as it is here, and an email always looks like this, that there's some letters in front of the ad, an ad, some letters more, a dot, and then some letters. If we know this, this is a rule. So regex is used to structured data. We can also extract numbers, say a license plate from an email, order number, we can use it uh, if this text that could come from an email, but it could also come from a PDF. We use it a lot here for invoices with, which have a structured format. But that's not the point of the video. This is just to show you a little bit about regex. Now for the exciting part, let me show you regex in Power Automate. We can have two ways of using regex here in Power Automate. We can have the free one that is the Office Scripts that is a new solution I developed just for you or we can use the automated connectors such as Plum Sale. Each has their advantage and their cons. The advantage of the Office Script that is it is free. It is limited though at the moment you can only run it 400 times a day so if you have a large company this will be a serious limitation but it is in preview from the Microsoft side, so I'm sure this will get a lot better. Or we can simply just use the Plum Sale that has unlimited runs, but it will cost you some dollars. So yeah, pros and cons, I will show you both solutions, then you can decide. Anyways, I'm very, very happy to show you this Office Script solution because that will also introduce you to Office Scripts. If we go to Microsoft, your Office 365 homepage. You can see all these here. First of all, let's click the Excel. In case you don't see the Excel icon over here on the left, click the nine black dots, click all apps and it will come here. So we open Excel. I want you to create a new blank workbook. Just click here. Let's rename it. So I can say power automate scripts. You don't have to, but it's nice if you want to share your scripts at a later point, we can easily do so. To find a find the office script, click the automate, click all script, and you can see that my scripts it is blank. And an office script that is simply just a simple JavaScript, TypeScript 
that we can uh, we can make a simple code here and then we can call that code from Power Automate. That is the intuition of this first part of the video. So I want you to do these things with me. You will learn the most. So open up your office, open up uh, scripts and create the script with me. So click new script. Here is a simple script. This one will work, nothing will happen. Let's start by renaming it so you can click here and we can say regex match. Now we need some TypeScript to type in here. TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. They are very similar. And we will use a, reg a TypeScript that I developed actually with my friend Nikolai. So go to this link here. I'll put the link just in the description below. Scroll a little bit down and then you'll find the regex code that is here. Make sure you copy everything, either mark it and copy paste or simply just click copy here. Then we go back to our script editor. Make sure you delete all this one here and paste in my script. This is a working regex script that you can call from Power Automate. So that's it. Um, we can uh, save it, click here, save it, and we have created our Office script. This is also very useful, not just for regex, but in general speaking, this will be the new VBA. It will only run on Excel online, so that's why we created it here. Now let's go back to Power Automate and create an automation that will call this regex script. So I go to Power Automate, then I click Create. We will just choose a manually triggered flow, but of course feel free to choose each one of these. So I'll choose here. Then I will call it regex example and choose manually to trigger our flow. Click Create. We need some input and that was the text you saw before. So let me open up the notepad again. I'll just copy this one in here. So I'll click new step. Then I'll find a compose here and click it. What this does, it just takes some input and create an output. So here I will just put in this email, that's it. This one will create an output. To use regex to extract these two emails, we will click new step, then click run script here. Let's find a location. Mine is on OneDrive for business, so I choose this one here. The document library, that will be OneDrive as well. Then the file. The file was our Excel sheet. Remember, we created this one here. And because I haven't specified otherwise, our Power Automate scripts.xlsx will just be in our OneDrive main folder. So let us find it here. You can see Excel Online Business. We scroll a little bit down. Here is my Excel file. That's it. And then we will select a script to run from this Excel file. So we call this Excel script and run the regex match, which is here. So this will um, generate three more fields because that was defined in my Power Automate script. We will have input string, a pattern and flags. Let's go back. So the input string. That was just the text that we got from up here. We could, of course, also just put it in here. But this was to illustrate that that could be outputs from emails, or SharePoint, whatever. And you can see here that if we click into this field, you will have the output. That's it. That's the output from up here, which is basically just this text. The pattern. Well, that was just the pattern that we used before. You see, the one we had here or actually here as well, but uh, let's take it from here. So I'll just copy the pattern. These two things will also be at my homepage guide here, so you can find them there. And I will paste in the pattern, then a flag. A flag is just a setting to this regex method. And I will use the G, that is the global, that will basically mean that we don't stop after the first match. So in case we haven't specified, it will only find this email and then stop. But when we have this flag, we have both emails or five emails if we had that. That's it, we can save it. And now we can try to run it just to inspect the, the lock. So I'll click test, manually, save and test. Here, be sure to have signed in. I am, of course, I just did. Then I click run flow. 
your flow ran successfully and in a little while we can inspect the lock. So here uh, this one will become green and green and our regex has worked now. So if you click the run script here you will see a lock. And this was the input, the pattern, the flags and here is the output. You can see the result, that is the result of this body here and we have two emails. With these hard brackets it, that indicates that this is an array of strings. So we have an array of two items. An array is just a list of uh, variables of the same type. Here, strings. So we have one called andersjensen.org and one don't use this email.com. To work with this, say that we want these things out and work further in our flow, let's try to do it. So we click edit here. And we will have an apply to each. So I'll find a new step. Apply to each here. This one will iterate through each um, element in this array up here. So if I click here, you can see that we have the result. So I choose that one. And then let's choose another compose. We will just print it out. So I'll click add an action. Compose here like this. So what do we want out? We want each uh, element in this array that was each string. So we click here. And then if we scroll a little bit down over here in the dynamic content, we can see that it's the current item. So this is this one. Now we have created an automation. Of course, in a real world scenario, we wanted to use this email address to plug it in somewhere. But let's just uh, stop for now for the Office Script solution. I think this is very, very cool. You saw how you could create an Office script, but you also saw how you could uh, use it to invoke reg a regex script here in Power Automate. So if we click the apply to each and we click the compose, we can see that was the first email. Then we click next and we will just load and that was the second email. If we want a specific item, that could be either one of these two emails here, then let us click edit. So let's delete the apply for each. So I'll delete this one here. To call these two outputs from up here, take the first email or the second email specifically, then we will find a compose. Again, if this video helps you, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a ton and I will be very, very grateful. But we want to target here. So click here in the inputs and then we can go over to expression and we can target this run script here and we can target the specific email, the specific match in the array. To do so, we will write outputs that was, will refer to outputs of some of these actions from up here. Then we will have parentheses like this, then single quotation brackets, and I will say run script. This one will target or refer to this run script up here. In case you don't know how this will look like, let me delete this instead and go to the dynamic content. We can click it here, then we can hover our mouse over, and you can see that it is actually here. We will write this out in our expression. So this one can be a help sometimes, that was a little trick. So I go to expression again, then I'll write outputs. Here you can see the IntelliSense written it out, so I just click tab. Then I'll say run underscore script. Again, you can, you can find this in the dynamic solution. And remember to have it in single quotation marks like this. Then we will have a question mark. And now we will refer to the result that was inside the body. So hard bracket, single quotation marks, body, Result again if this goes too fast just pause the video and rewind a bit the video is designed for that To target the first match then that will be number zero because it's zero indexed So to target the first email that will be zero and if we wanted the second email out We will just write one, but we want the first email. So I'll click ok the expression is invalid don't mind that It's it will work so this is just a bug. So I'll manually save and test. Now we run our flow. We click done. Uh, this one will uh, work in five seconds, five, four, even faster. So I click the compose too. 
there it is, we have our first email. And just to show you, if I click edit, if I click here, and if I go over here and just change this to one, and I click update. Now I can test it again, save and test. Run the flow again, this was just to show you how we can get the second email out and just to verify that it will actually work. Like here, now we have the second email. So isn't it clever? Now you learn to use Office scripts and to use it with regex. But this comes with a limit, as I mentioned. If you are working in a company that uses this a lot or use Office scripts a lot, then you will throw your head against the 400 limit per day. That is 400, call, uh, 400 run scripts calls per day. This will not be a lot. Then we will use a paid solution. And let me show you. So if I edit this one here and let me delete the run script. Again, if you have any questions, just post them below in the comments. But now we only have our initial um, text that we want to work on. So if we want to use an automated connector, then I can go to Plum Sale. Here I have already signed up for an account. I can click the dots here, click Actions. Then we can create a new API key. Again, this is a paid solution, but it will be the only solution if you work in a large enterprise. Then I click Add New. I can just call this Power Automate, like this. The type, it will just be basic. Then I click Create. Then we have an API key here. We will copy this one here. We will use that in Power Automate. If I go to Power Automate, click a new step. Then I'll find a plum sale. Plum sale. See, there's a lot of plum sale components, but if I say regex, here, you, you will have the regular expression match. That was the one that could extract the text that we used before. The expression test will just return a true false. Then that will say, is, the, is, is there an email here or whatever you search for? Yes, or true or false. That will be this one, but we will take this one. And you can see here, we can define a pattern. And if we just choose the pattern from before, well, it was here or it was at our notepad. If I paste this pattern in and the text, that will be the output like this, then we can save it. And we can test it. Like here, we are already signed into Plum Sale. So I click Run Flow, click Done. So this is, uh, you can see, a little bit more easy, but uh, that will be okay. And here it will return an array of matches again. Uh, it will take the two emails. You will extract these uh, matches just as before with either the apply to each or a compose and an expression. If you want more advanced Power Automate, click the playlist to the left where I will teach you all about Power Automate Desktop, that is UI automation. It's probably one of the most interesting, if not the most interesting component of Power Automate. So click that video and learn all about that.